Uh, now, there's something very, very important that we need to do before we get the beats. And that is we need to go into our house and we need to change into, change into this. Sexy. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is April 3rd, and we're going to sell our produce. We have some eggs to sell, and we're loading up our pickup truck with all of our lettuce. I wish we had a, a little bit longer bed uh, than we do. Uh, let's see if we can push this one in just a a smidge. I probably shouldn't mess with it because it's right on the edge of the trailer there. But I can just kind of nudge it in. See, the, the thing is, is this can glitch out and then just do all kinds of crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just leave it like it is. <laughs> Get it strapped down quick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we got the load done, man. We got the load done. Okay, so yeah, welcome guys uh, to Farming Simulator in uh, our next episode here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, let's go... We'll just park the forklift right here for now, uh, but we do have a full pallet and then another partial of eggs here. I guess we can grab these now and, and bring them over there. We can't put them on the pickup. We're already a tad bit overloaded as it is, but we'll at least bring them over there so they're ready to go. And I need to look at the chickens, too, and see if that next group is mature yet. And we're also probably going to have to replenish the fertilizer in our greenhouses in this episode, too. Or, well, in this on this day, I should say. There's a nice little batch of eggs there, though. Okay, let's look at the chickens. So, your reproduction, your puberty, your puberty. Okay, so they're still growing. Yeah, we're going to have to get some grain, too. Uh, so, they're still growing. Uh, so, we're still only at a third of our potential egg production here. All right, what I'm going to do is just park the forklift right here. Uh, wait a second. Did you turn off? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to need to not to take any fast cores cor with this load here. Uh, yeah. We should be okay, though, I think, as, as long as I don't take any fast corners. Uh, let's take a look and see who is given the best price right now for lettuce. So we want to go here. And select lettuce, which is right cheer. Okay, so fast food is nine ninety one. The bowling restaurant's offering a thousand dollars and a thousand and five dollars. Wow. Okay. Uh, what is the we? What are we at? We're in April. Okay, so we're about at the mid point for these. Okay, let's run these up to the bowling alley, nice and carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit back end heavy here. Oh, I also found a solution to the paint on my brand new truck. Um, if in my magic admin menu here, there is an option for changing the condition of a vehicle, uh, which includes the paint. And so I can basically set it back to perfect paint, which it should be. I mean, that's just, that's bull crap, man. <laughs> a brand new 50 some odd thousand dollar truck should not have the paint wearing off in the first two days so i'm just gonna keep re you know repainting it like that 
indefinitely because, I mean, you wouldn't see paint, you know, that kind of wear on paint for years on a vehicle. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little ridiculous, I think. You know, for farm equipment and and implements, that's a little different because it's out in the dirt all the time and it's doing work and stuff. And so it's a little more reasonable for, you know, for the paint to wear off quicker on stuff like that, but not on a brand new pickup truck. I mean, come on, man. So anyway, the cool thing is I'm able to fix it. I don't have to pay for it. So that's what we're, we're going to do to keep our truck in pristine condition. We should be okay going at speed as long as we don't take any fast corners here. But I thought I'd try this instead of messing with the, the trailer just to see if we can do it. I don't know. I might still use the trailer anyways just because it's a little easier to load and we don't have to worry about. Nice and easy you know, getting it on, you know, relatively square so it doesn't fall off like we had to in this situation. Oh, yeah, it's definitely rocking. <laughs> it's a bit much. It's certainly not a problem for the pickup in terms of power, but it's more of a balance thing, of course, because it has such a short bed on it. Okay, let's head on up to the bowling alley and make some money here. That's a good price. I don't know... I don't remember, have we seen lettuce sell for over $1,000? We probably did in January. Uh, easy, easy, easy. You just chill out there, pal. I should probably put my hazards on, huh? <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, I probably won't do this again. Um, I just wanted to try it once, but we'll, we'll use the trailer next time because it's... You know, if we're selling to Mama Joe, though, we could just throw half the load on, go drop it off, and then put the other half on. That would that would work fine. Okay, anyone coming? Nope. Okay, nice and easy. Around the corner here. Just relax. Yeah, turn. Go somewhere else. Okay. I still can't believe there's so that many. There's a hundred thousand dollars worth of collectibles on this map, you guys. It, <laughs> and what do we find? 30, 30 of them? What is that? That's a basketball. Why is there a basketball down there? How funny. I have no idea why there's a basketball down there. Okay, let's sell this lettuce. Make some money. Nine thousand and forty-two. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely been that high before. It's doing that weird strap thing. Excellent. Okay, so. That is probably all the money we're going to bring in today, but we're going to have, I think we're going to have probably some money going out. No, we got the eggs. I forgot. We got the eggs. Yeah, let's go get those. We'll sell those next. And then uh, we're going to have to decide if we want to, if we're going to need to purchase fertilizer for the greenhouses. We definitely need to get some more grain for the chickens. I should just fill that whole entire place up but I want to buy those you know I want to buy our fields and our bees first before I do that just make sure we have enough money okay we might still need the forklift later so let's just keep it out for now Who's got the best prices on eggs today? Uh, eggs. Oh, this is a good time to be selling eggs, too. Uh, April, well, no, actually, it's not. <laughs> Next month, though, uh, May and June, if we and if we're, we're up at the full production in those two months, well, 
it will do good there too. And then it jumps way up in October and November. So we'll definitely be at full production there. So that's good. Uh, anyway, who's got the best prices? So it looks like uh, Mama Joe. All right, let's take these on over to Mama Joe. She's making those omelets. She makes a really good biscuits and gravy. And with a couple of uh, over easy eggs, mmm, delicious. And now, next time we go to Mama Joe's for breakfast and eat some eggs, there'll be our eggs. How about that? Okay, now we can actually pull up to this place the proper way. Well, except for we kind of missed the, <laughs> the driveway a little bit, but whatever. $2,463. Nice. Okay. So that brings us up to $158,000 and change for money. And I think that's about it for income today. Park our truck right there. Uh, all right, let's take a look at our chickens first. So yeah, we we need some grain here. We're at 447 liters. And for the greenhouses, we have plenty of fertilizer in that one, plenty of fertilizer in that one. Yeah, we have enough to, to go another day or two before we have to worry about that. So let's let that one go. And But we do need to get some grain for the chickens. I, I want to go look at the field again. I don't think it will flower until next month. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Uh, what about this other field? Have they planted something on it yet? Let's look at that. Nothing on the this field here. Nope, nothing on that field either. Okay. I'm really kind of hoping the owner will put a crop on it before we buy it. If they don't and we end up buying it anyways, then I'm just going to probably put hay on it or grass. Okay, let's um, order. Oh, here's what's for sale too, by the way. Um, I thought about this. Now, this is a sugar beet chopper, but it's also a, a 2,300 liter bucket. And it does fit on a front loader. The reason that's significant is because the only other front loader bucket is this one, and it's only 1,000 liters. And I'm not planning on being in the sugar beet business, but if we ever did, you know, like, let's say, for example, we buy an, a new field that has sugar beets on it. We already have this. It's normally $15,000, $15,500, and we could get it for eight. So, that, so now we have a bucket that's over twice the capacity of the, of the only other option we have with the front loader. And we have a chopper, too. Uh, this is a Massey tractor. This is a sugarcane planter. This is a slurry distributor. And there is also a sprayer for sale here, too. That wouldn't be bad to have, but we wouldn't really need a sprayer. We, we can handle fertilizer with our spreader. And so far, we haven't had a weed issue with any of our fields up to this point. That doesn't mean we won't in the future. So I'm kind of tempted to buy this, but oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think we will. I don't think we will, only because I want to make sure we have enough money to get at least one field and a beehive and maybe even a couple of those fields. And it's possible that one or, or both of those other fields will have a crop on them next month. So let's just chill. Let's just hold off and not, not be buying stuff left and right. We got to be judicious about this. We got to be frugal about this. What we do need to buy though is grain. So let's go to the store here and go to big bags and buy some wheat. And again, um, I think it would probably take almost 10 of these to fill that silo up. So that's $14,000 right there. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's just, let's buy two. 
for now. And we'll just keep buying two at a time until we get to the point where we can do a harvest and get some grain of our <coughs> of our own. Or enough money left over to where we just say screw it and buy, you know, buy the full capacity. All right, so let's go put this in the chicken coop, and then I think we're done for the day, guys. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. We've already checked the contracts. There isn't any anything left in that regard. Spread these out. Uh, maybe a little more, huh? Let's go give our birds some food here. I wish there was something else here besides just dumping this on the ground. It just it feels weird, man. But, I don't know, put like a little hopper and an auger or something with it. Well, we'll just have to imagine that's what's there. Okay, we are finished for uh, April 3rd so I'm going to sleep uh, for the rest of the day or take the rest of the day off and then tomorrow will be May 1st it'll be May Day and we should have contracts and we may be ready to buy some fields too Unless something really, really awesome comes up on sale that we just can't resist. We'll have to we'll just see how how it all comes together. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. <sighs> Good morning everybody. It is May Day, May 1st, and look at this. Our hay is ready to harvest again. That's awesome. And it looks to me like the canola field has finally bloomed. That is fantastic. How about our chickens? Are our chickens, uh, any of them matured? Yeah, let's take a look at those. You're still in puberty. Come on, man. How long are you going to be in puberty? For goodness sakes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they're, they're still in puberty. Well, uh, yeah, look at this. The field has flowered. That's amazing. Okay, so who owns this field? A Adrian Adrian Hooper. Okay. Adrian Hooper. We're going to have to give Adrian a call. What about uh, these fields? Is anything... Ha oh, yeah, we got a crop. Something was planted on this field. What is it? It is... Corn. All right. Clifford Powell owns that field. Well... I think we better give Adrian and Clifford a call and see if they're interested in selling their field. Now, um, we also need to take a look and see what is going on contract-wise. Nope, we're not doing weeding. Nope, 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 nope. I guess we're not doing contracts. Son of a gun. Okay. That's right. We got hay to do. Uh, we have our own hay to do. And we have a nice canola field and a corn field to buy. Hey, you know what? I, can our chick... I don't think our chickens eat corn. They should be able to, but I don't think they do. Um, Wheat, barley, and sorghum. What? Who ever heard of a chicken not eating corn? All right. Well, I guess we can't use that, that corn when we harvest it to feed our chickens. For Pete's sake... What kind of chickens are you? All right, so here is the deal. We are going to purchase those fields, so we're going to call up Adrian and Clifford or whatever the heck his name was, and let's just assume we have already done that. Um, so let's go into the map, and we're going to buy 47 and 49. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is going to cost us $64,000. 
And this is going to cost us $56,000. And how much does this cost? Okay, that, we don't have enough money to buy that. Okay, we, we have $33,000 left. Okay, guys, we are now the proud owners of a cornfield and a canola field. Uh, both of them are pretty small, but that's okay because once we harvest the crop that's currently on them, we are going to convert them over to hay fields anyways. Uh, now, there's something very, very important that we need to do before we get the bees. And that is we need to go into our house and we need to change into... We need to change into this. Sexy. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's go to here, take a look and see uh, where's third person. Third person, third or third person right here. All I can say is that this uh, bee outfit matches OG's beard. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys. Um, true story, I don't like to get stung. I don't know about y'all, but OG does not like to get stung. I have a story to tell you. This is real life story. It's a true story. It happened for reals. I used to work a long time ago, uh, right out of high school, in fact, for one of the wealthiest farmers in the area uh, that we lived in at the time in central Washington, a little town called Quincy. Uh, his name was Bill Weber, and I worked in his apple orchard, uh, pruning uh, apple trees in it was early spring, as I recall, and the trees were in bloom. And, of course, uh, Mr. Weber had bees uh, in the orchard to pollinate the trees. So I was out minding my own business, pruning trees, and all of a sudden, I did something to, to irritate some bees, and they started to chase me. And I had, like, a little swarm of bees chase me. I mean, literally chasing me and so they were coming after me i got stung a couple times and i'm going what in the heck's going on and i dropped the pruders and i sprinted for my car and they chased me all the way to my car a couple of them got inside the car and stung me again so i got stung like four or five times now i'm not allergic to bee stings or at least i wasn't at that point so you know it wasn't like a medical emergency but i didn't enjoy it so you know that's why we have the bee outfit on now i know it doesn't necessarily look as cool as what Okay, we got we got some some voodoo witchcraft going on here. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, we got the bee outfit on because yeah, we don't like to get stung, and that's just the end of my story. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go into the build menu, and we're gonna go to what are we gonna go to? We're gonna go to animals. And we're going to go to bees. And we're going to grab the largest beehive that's available to us. Now, um, if you place the beehive next to a flowering crop, so that would be canola, potatoes, and sunflowers, it will give you a higher yield because, obviously, the bees are pollinating, helping to pollinate the crop, which is really cool. Um, but I do occasionally drive through here, so I think what we'll do is we'll put the beehive... Well, actually, do I want to do that? We can't really put it over here. We can't really put it there if we're going to drive through there. So, yeah, this is probably the best location for us to put our, our new beehive. Uh, so, okay. Now, we also have to put down this little thing in order to collect the honey. Because, of course, in case you guys didn't know this, bees make honey. Yeah, true story. They really do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves, what is this, dirt? Yeah, let's make ourselves a little spot here uh, to collect the honey. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to increase this to here, and we're going to just go squirt. Yeah, that'll probably work. Okay, let's go back to animals, back to bees, and then... Um, we need to smooth that out just a little bit. All right, now let's go back to animals and bees. All right, it's still not showing the other side. 
Uh, okay, let's go back to landscaping. How about if we do a level? All right. Animals, bees, thing. Uh, it's still kind of glitchy. I'd like the whole thing to be showing. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Just oh, over oh, overlaps with another object. Okay, it's too close to the thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, it leveled itself out, so it's showing. Okay, cool. Very nice. All right, so. What the bees are going to do, uh, like I said, is they're going to generate honey for us, and we will be able to periodically come over here and gather that honey and sell it. And maybe later on down the road, if, uh, uh, you know, if it works out, we can potentially have our own cereal factory. And one of the inputs of the cereal factory is honey. I don't know if if anything else in the game uses honey, but I know the cereal factory does, uh, the production line. So there you go. But also, like I said, these guys are going to help pollinate this crop and give us a better yield. So let's look at the crop, by the way. Oh, wait. Owned by Sheila McFarlane. What are you talking about? This is my crop. What was I looking at? Oh, this field. Okay, yeah, that field's owned by Sheila. Uh, okay, so this is already 100% fertilized, and it says it's a 98% yield bonus. I wonder if that will come up a little bit now that we have the bees. I'm not sure if it will. But nevertheless, we have the bees, and, you know, once the canola field's finished, <laughs> once we harvest it, I'm going to probably turn it into hay, but we're still going to keep the bees anyways uh, for the honey, I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, haven't really, I guess I haven't really thought that far ahead. We'll have to see. And, of course, we now have ourselves a cornfield over here, too. Let's uh, see what the condition of this field's in. It's 100% fertilized and 98% yield. It does have stones, though. Don't these guys ever remove the stones off their field? I don't know, man. All right. Well, we'll have to take care of that later. We will eventually own this field, but we only have $14,000 to our name at the moment. And so that will have to come later. Hey, deer. Look at the deer. These are little deer. Um, all right, guys. So let's see. I, I already checked uh, this. The only thing that's for sale is the sprayer, which I don't think we really need. And we can't afford it right at the moment anyway. So it's kind of a moot point. Uh, let's go back into our house and change out of our bee outfit. So let's see. What, uh, what do we want to wear today? Uh, that's a new haul. Hey, you know what? That's a nice little outfit. Let's just wear that. Confirm. We have a new haul and tractor, so now we have a new haul and outfit and a new haul and hat. Uh, third person view off. There we go. All right, my friends. So, uh, let's see here. We have to look at our... Our uh, greenhouses. So we still we're still doing okay. Uh, we can still go another day or two. Whoops. Uh, before we have to replenish that fertilizer. And uh, the chickens are in, should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, they got plenty of food. We're just waiting on uh, those other two batches to grow up. So I think uh, what is going to happen next. As we're going to harvest our hay, this will be our second hay cutting of the year. Yeah, we're ready to harvest our hay. Let's do it.
right, guys, we are finished with the mowing and baling. Now, now we just got some rolling to do. Uh, but I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here, and I'll, I'll get the rolling done. Let's see, tomorrow is going to be May 2nd. I probably won't bring you back until May 3rd unless, uh, you know, I have a compelling reason to do so. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. Man, this thing turns really quick. <laughs> subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that hate field rolling.